I've often been fascinated by the superpower that developers have but rarely use, and it's the ability to create real applications that others can use. Most of us create software for other people in exchange for a paycheck. That's their job. That's their skill set. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm talking about here is creating software for ourselves, software that we own and we bring to life, that we sell in some way to others. And you may also know this as indie hacking. An indie hacker is an individual that builds and launches a business or product independently without the support of a large organization or team. And there are a handful of indie hackers on Twitter that I follow and that I'm quite fascinated with. Some of them have launched 5, 10, 15 products and are making a very good monthly income from them. And yes, I know that many of their launches have failed along the way. But what I'm getting at here is that any one of us could do it. We can build whatever we want. We build whatever our boss tells us to build, but what about the ideas and businesses that we come up with? And I think the barrier for many is just coming up with a viable product, one that doesn't flop in the first month or two or the first year, one that people sign up for and pay us for and continue to benefit from. And we in turn make some supplemental income or complete income from it. And the secret here is that it doesn't have to be an idea that nobody's thought of before. It can be, but rarely is that the case. Instead, it just needs to be better than the competition out there, or it needs to serve a unique function within a certain category of services, something along those lines. So in today's brief video, I want to give you what I think was a really neat example that any single one of us could do or could have done. We all could have coded this product or launched this product, but we didn't. And I want to maybe help you stir up some ideas of what you could possibly build in this year or the next. So going back to these indie hackers that I find fascinating on Twitter, there's this one guy who had a product that really stood out to me. His name is Mark Liu, and I was taking note of his products one day. Five successful products bringing in $56,000 a month. Could you imagine? Of course, there are 16 failed products, such as the nature of the hustle. But I took note of this one that makes up the bulk of his sales, and it's called ShipFast. Now, the idea behind this is that we, you and I, can build things, sure, but we also have to set up marketing for those things. And this is the side we often don't think of. And if we do, we often forget all the steps that goes into that part of it, separate from our app. And to be honest, it's often the part that keeps us from releasing any apps to the public. Maybe we aren't web developers, or maybe we're solely back-end developers, and we really don't like building, or maybe we're not good at building the front-end websites that would attract many customers. So if we decide to build an app, we build the app, we have the fun part that we enjoy and that we want people to use, but we also have to build some sort of landing page or site to market the product. We also have to set up SEO. We have to set up some payment gateway like Stripe. We have to set up authentication, email deliveries, DNS, hosting, and much more. And again, this is outside of whatever app that we've been building. And that's what this product does. That's what ShipFast does. It's a Next.js app that has all this boilerplate set up for you so that you're ready to market and sell your app and have the best SEO and off, all by just tweaking a few variables. And it's literally a code base that you get access to. Again, we could have coded this ourselves. 49,000 a month. But it's a really good idea. I'll put a link below if you wanna check it out. And at the same time I was checking this out, was checking out his profile, I was looking into this, like, why didn't I think of this? I then found out that it was gonna be listed on AppSumo, which is a site that I've used a lot over the years. In fact, I've bought maybe 30 to 40 products from them over the past five or so years. So I found out they were gonna sell this product as well, and we worked out a deal where they agreed to sponsor this video. So thank you, AppSumo, for sponsoring this video and making it happen. But here's what ShipFast offers. Number Number one, it's pre-set up with authentication, either with Supabase or NextAuth. Magic Links and Google OAuth are built in because no one should be using passwords anymore, right? And it's already set up with private and protected pages. Number two, it's pre-set up with Stripe payments. Who likes setting that up? Just configure your Stripe account from your dashboard, create the products, and supply the app with your keys. Number three, it's pre-configured for a database with MongoDB, or again, Supabase, which is a hosted Postgres database. Fourth, there's SEO best practices already set up. Just fill in your information. Number five, there are many Tailwind CSS components ready to go. Six, there's an email boilerplate with Mailgun. And seven, there's even a blog set up, landing pages, and everything you need to launch your application. And you can choose between the JavaScript or TypeScript repo, because you really should be using TypeScript. And you can choose between the Next.js app router, which is the newer version, or the old pages router version. Take your pick. And there's really good documentation on how to set it up. That is the auth, the email, the stripe, the landing pages, everything. And there's even comments in the code on how to make your website copy 
better. So what I'm getting at here is that this is the app that you or I could have thought up and built. But instead, we're always following tutorials, building to-do apps, and not thinking that we can actually launch our own products to the world. For this app, entrepreneurs are always looking to speed up their launches. They want faster launches, and this does that for them. It solves a pain point for many people out there. In fact, it takes care of all the things that takes forever to do before getting to actually launching the app that you spend so much time on. Now, regarding you and some things you can build. First, what are the things that you keep repeating day to day? What code do you keep writing over and over again? Or what tasks do you do repeatedly? Well, rest assured that many out there are doing the same thing. A new product to speed that up may just be your next best idea. Next, think out of the box into other industries, other sectors. Make it a habit when you talk to other people in other industries that you find out about their pain points and things that they spend too much time on and what frustrates them. Maybe you can fix it for them. And finally, build things like this regularly if you have time because it will teach you a lot as a developer. When I built the imposter devs website and launched that, it was scary. You're handling people's data. What if you get hacked? What if there's a bug that exposes something that shouldn't be exposed? What about logging and handling user accounts and all of that stuff? In general, launching something to hundreds or thousands of users it's a scary thing, and it causes you to really put in extra effort for efficiency and security. It just makes you a better developer, and it gives you more experience. And if it flops, you learn from it. So tell me, have you had any success from launching or shipping your own apps? If so, I'd love to hear about it below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.